In this video, we're going to go through and set it up so the left hand will stay on and follow wherever we set a grip point for the handguard. So wherever we want the left hand to be gripped on the firearm is where it's going to be set to. So to kind of block this out, what we're going to do is open up our animation blueprint here. And we are going to set up the fabric node. So out of curiosity, I wonder, let me search for character. We should be able to get the FP gun, which is our static mesh right here, or skeletal mesh. And we want to have a socket that is going to kind of control the transform. So we can't use a necessarily the world socket. We have to make it relative. So we want to do get world transform, or sorry, get socket transform. And now we want to make that socket. So if we view our firearm here, we can go ahead and add a new socket. This one's going to be S underscore left hand. We can try to position it roughly in a place where it would make sense. So remember, the left hand bone on the character is at the actual wrist. So we want to offset it to the right a bit, and then we can deal with the location, rotation, all that kind of stuff later on. But we're going to position it roughly right there. So we have, ah crap, what was it? S underscore left hand. Okay, then we want to make this relative to our first person mesh. We want to get the socket transform. And we want it to be and underscore R. So we make the sight or the left hand on the gun. We want to make that socket location relative to the right hand of our first person mesh. Then from there, that should give us the point kind of of which we need to set it. So we're going to create a new transform here. So left hand, I'll just call it left hand IK. The type transform. And let's set it. This is going to happen on tick. So we want to be careful here. And we want to do a valid check on character before we actually set it. Like so. So let's move on to the animation graph. We're going to add a fabric node. The effector target is going to be the hand underscore R. And we want it to be in bone space. Then the tip bone, the one we want to modify, can be hand L, and then the root bone of this, we want it to be the upper arm for the left hand. So upper arm L. And this will kind of link up a chain, so to speak. So we modify the left hand and we move the chain up to our left arm. So our elbow and all that kind of stuff can bend effectively. Yeah. And of course there go the dogs again. So now we will just want to link this up so this fabric node will go through and actually run. So we go through, we go play our slots, and we can actually do this at the very end. Well, actually scratch that, we want to do that first, sorry. So when the recoil animation plays, we are still, no matter where we are in that animation, we want to attach, make sure that left hand is attached. So we want to use the left hand IK that we just made as the effector. So with any luck, this will probably not work. Or it does. I'm actually a little surprised. So as you can see, we have the left hand positioned right where we initially had it. So that works great. However, if you remember from, I don't remember how many videos ago, but we need to set up some form of IK to match with the virtual bone or sorry, we need to set up virtual bones for the left hand to match the right. So anything we do, like if I rotate this, for example, as you can see, the left hand up front does not rotate or follow really correctly at all, which is a problem. So we need to fix, make sure we go through and fix that. But that will be done in a later video. But for right now, we have the left hand matching, and that's mostly what we want. And same thing, because this is launching on each client, the in the graph, the hand is going to be replicated as well. 
So we got to move the socket back some. So when we are at idle, it does not have that issue of pulling. So let's play in the viewport, aim, press, or stop aiming and press F8. We're going to drag it back. So what we can do is drag off this window and drag this back. And as you can see, this is kind of how it's getting affected. So we're going to go about here. That's a little high, so we're going to drop it a tiny bit. Go back up some and go back like so. Then you can save. And there we'll have a better initial position. Now the only thing we have to worry about is the rotation of that hand. So even though it is staying where it's supposed to, we don't have any aiming animation. Instead, what we have is again that IK driven system through the virtual bones. So we have no way to keep the rotation where it is supposed to be appropriately. So that'll be handled in probably the next video. But for now, that's going to be all. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to ask my Discord. That's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next one.